Well, hello everyone and welcome to this little tutorial. Um, this tutorial will be available for you to watch on YouTube for a short time and then I'm going to move it to my Patreon channel where you can watch little tutorials like this for 10, as little as $10 a month gives you access to the short tutorials. And today we'll be painting this um, kind of winter scene that I found um, on a royalty free website called um, Unsplash. And it's just sort of, you know, at the photo looks pretty dull and boring, but I thought to keep it simple, um, we're going to be painting. We did an, um, one of these paintings earlier this month where we start from a black canvas. And this is a miniature landscape painting. This is only, um, I think it's, yeah, this is five by five inches. And these uh, you can get at Michael's, just the artist loft canvases. And they come in um, like a two pack. So to start off, I've got out my paints, uh, black and white are up here. I've got yellow ochre, um, cad yellow light, cad re red medium, alizarin, sap green, viridian, orange, transparent red oxide, brown oxide, cobalt blue, ultramarine blue, and quinacridone red. So um, let's see if I could find that little painting. I did, oh, there it is. So I did this, um, this one before, and this is how it, kind of the look you get when you start on the black and then you kind of fill in. It's almost, it's sort of fun to do. So I hope you stay with the video and watch it to the end. Um, this one will be a little different because we're doing sort of more, that was sort of for fall and this one's for winter. So I kind of took the reference photo and I did a little thumbnail sketch of it. And kind of the idea I have was You've got sort of these four main planes here. You've got the water. You've got a lighter layer, these two layers of like farmland. And then you've got this mountain area back here. And then some sort of, you know, wintry looking trees. So I wanted to keep it really simple and kind of have fun with it. So. It helps to do a thumbnail sketch just to give yourself some idea of some of these horizontal lines. And, you know, because we're painting on black, you could break the sky into sort of some nice shapes, this darker blue area, and then this cooler area. You could kind of even break the sky up into some neat um, shapes. So I'm going to keep that where I can see it. And then I'm going to get my little miniature canvas here and see what we can do. So I'm just getting my paper towel ready. And because it's a small canvas, I'm just gonna switch brushes here and use, I'll just use a small brush to start off with just to kind of draw in some of the lines. So this is just a little round um, brush I have. So what I could do is I also put out some of this cobalt turquoise. I thought that would look kind of like a nice wintry water look. So I could start by using some of that just to draw in um, where the leaving space for my trees. I'm just gonna kind of put in a little bit of a line for where the shore is on this landscape. Just kind of start somewhere, leaving space for the other tree. And then you've got the water coming through. And I'm just kind of leaving some of those spaces open for where those trees could go through. You can always correct using, you know, black to kind of re-add your black in, but I'm just gonna 
I'll put some of this water in and I'm leaving, I'm gonna leave these areas for where I put the trees out for now. And I'm just gonna loosely put in some of that turquoise. This is sort of a fun way to paint. It's like you're kind of going backwards a little bit in your, with your thinking. So now I'm going to go and put in, just kind of pick out a color I can draw the trees with. So maybe I'll use a little bit of this yellow ochre and the um, transparent brown oxide just to give it that sort of, I can always go darker later, but I'll put in a little bit so I know kind of basically where I'm going to have a few branches. Just a real rough draft. I don't want lots of, I don't want every single branch in right now, just sort of a really, really rough draft. Because we're going to, we can leave a lot of those twiggy shapes by leaving the black coming through. So now I'll just use a bit of that yellow ochre and I kind of rough in that where the next layer of land is. So I'll put in the next layer. And I might just use um, a little bit of this cobalt blue and quinacridone red to make sort of a purple and a little bit of white. And I'll draw in kind of those distant mountains in there. Just leaving lots of room for where the, those twigs will go. And I'll mix a little more cobalt blue in there and put in some more detail. I'm leaving space between where the land is and where the mountain is. So be careful when you paint and delete those little details. like that. And then we just got to think up a kind of a color for the land in between. So it looks sort of pinky purple, all those dead, all the dead grass and everything. So we can mix up a few colors. I'll just use maybe some yellow ochre and some white, a little bit of Viridian in there just to kind of kind of give it a grayish color. And we could see what that kind of neutral color looks like and if we want to use it. So I think what I'm going to do is actually, you now what I forgot I was planning on doing is actually just ignore that move, making this like an icy snowy river for winter. So just ignore that one. And I'm gonna grab some of that purple that I used in the mountain and I'm gonna add some white to it. So my cobalt blue and quinacrinone mix. 
this is what I had planned on doing is adding that into the foreground and having having some snow and you can we can leave some of that dark underpaint there. Add a little more cobalt to the mix. And you could put in some of that blue in the shadows. You know, the idea that the trees kind of are leaving some shadow. And then we can add some snow to that later. And then we've got um, more area that will have some of that purple. I always got, you know, I was looking at my reference photo when I was doing this thinking, and I lost my train of thought because the reference photo doesn't have any snow, it looks really cold and like everything's sort of died off around the trees and everything. So, but then I forgot when I started painting what my plan was. So now I'm going to leave those little bits of black there. Go back and get some of the turquoise for the water. And Put a little between some of those trees. Just sort of simplify some of those lines so it's not so you know detailed. And now I'm going to move to a little smaller brush and sort of work on the sky. This is a, this is a number four. So I'm going to get some of that white and some cobalt blue. And you could even put a little turquoise in that cobalt teal in the sky and I'll start off by kind of putting in we make it a little darker I want it to be a little dark in the top and you can sort of pick out those branches by leaving the the dark underpaint there. I'm just sort of just randomly, you know, making these shapes. You can do as many or as little as you want. So you could have, um, let me just switch to a, I'll just uh, switch to a smaller brush for a sec. And so if I was to build it using like this little one flat, well, I could do a whole bunch more detail. So, you know, you could work on
having lots of lots more of those little sky, you know, coming through those branches and keep, you know, building a lot more details. Like, you know, as, as much as you want. Just keep adding more lines, leaving more black shining through, and you'll get more of those details. It's sort of a reminds me of those coloring books that you can kind of color in and, and it's sort of relaxing, you know, to do something different like this. And I'm just gonna, so that's, that would be more detail than I would, I would probably do, but we can always go over it later and delete some of the, some of the branches. And as the sky gets lower down, you can add a little more white to that. Keep going. Uh, we go in with it and you know, keep filling in those little. arcs and then you can go and start i'm going to add some snow to this to make it a winter scene so i'm going to get some white and a little bit i'll add a little bit of that um, cobalt blue and you could let's see put a bit of snow i would say on the In the foreground here and you can kind of blend it in with that purple. The purple is sort of like the under, kind of like the shadow. Just kind of blend that in.
just sort of blend in some of that, those lines there. And you can put in a little bit of that snow on some of the branches. And you'll notice I'm kind of staying with this, trying to stay with that simplicity of the rest of the painting. I'm not, I'm not overly um, making these, the snow detailed. I'm sort of just putting in those marks to be, kind of go along with the rest of the feeling of the painting. And I might get some of that turquoise and I'm just gonna add some more white to that. And I'm going to just add a little bit of that lighter color turquoise to the water in certain places too, just to give it a little variety. Gives it that icy look. And um, you can always go and get some of that blue and you can touch up your lines a little on your trees. You can touch some of them up to make them either a little smaller. I can make this one a little more narrow as it heads to the top there. Same up here, we can Trim some of those a little near the top. And you see, you can go around and add more detail if you want. Just going to add a little more here and there. And then I think um, if you wanted to add some of that purple, you could get some cobalt blue and white and some more of that quinacridone red. You could lighten some of the branches using some of that um, purple color in, in there, just so it's, they're not all the same. And I'm just sort of, I'm not losing the black on each side. I'm just sort of putting in a little bit of different a little bit of different color and value in some of those. Just adds another kind of level of, of interest to it. So you're still leaving the, the black and you can, you can add, you know, some of those marks to the water too, just add a little bit of the reflect, you know, some of that glow to the water. And you can get some cobalt now. Kind of now that you have your map, you can kind of adjust some of the marks. You can get some more cobalt blue and kind of go and darken the sky up high, you know, up here. Or if you want to add some more light to the the bottom area, but 
add a little bit more light, gives it that real wintry look. Bring a little bit of that up there. And just add a little white to that purple mix and we'll put a little bit of that snow on the surface of the ground across from the across the river there. Like that. And then if you wanted to, you could get a little bit of that white and put a few Christmassy, wintry, whatever snowflakes coming down. Give it that winter, real wintry feel. So if you were to make a mistake and you've got, say you wanted to go back and maybe add back some black that got erased, just go get some black and you can kind of redraw some of the black that you, if you lost some of it. And you can maybe lighten the purple a little bit in the distance, just a tiny bit, just using some of this lighter purple I mixed up. You can put in a few. You know, just to add variety to it. But it gives you a different effect when you start from the black and, you know, it's kind of a fun thing to try. So I hope that you like this video and I have another one um, that I did for painting like a fall, a real basic fall landscape too. And that's on the Patreon channel. So if you sign up, there's a link in the video description, you can sign up. And you can cancel anytime, sign up anytime, and the reference photo is supplied there. And I hope you enjoy, and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.